There's so much to say about my city. We're a large city, but we're almost a small town in some respects. Well, it's my home, so yeah, it feels like my home. Very, very, very diverse place. And that's part of what makes it, I think, so exciting. There's so much struggles that go on in Boston. And it's stunning to me how great the needs are in almost every facet. Mentors, food, housing. We've got parts of our city where kids are afraid to go to school because of violence and other things. You start adding all those factors in and sometimes it's a very tough road for folks. We all know there's a lot of need, there's a lot of challenges out there for people, but the good news is, is that we're lucky that we have the nonprofits here that we do, who are addressing that and are making a huge impact in our community. We're trying to make something positive grow out of some terrible, terrible tragedies. And the young people that are here today, we really appreciate you all coming down, because that's what this is all about. Taking place behind us is a care package project. Folks are going through the assembly line, they are building a box for a local serviceman or woman who is overseas, and when they complete that box, they're writing a letter of support for the service member, and they're also building a bag for a veteran in need. There is no greater tribute than by the ordinary people making their time available year after year after year. Bellasini Academy serves boys from the city of Lawrence that are from limited financial needs. I think what inspires me here is each and every day when I walk through and see our students and our alumni, whether it's learning science or reading a book or playing outside at recess, that they're excited to be here, but also that they have hope. The Boys and Girls Club is where we give young people a sense of belonging, a sense of hope, for you to look at all your options and create opportunities for yourself. Our theme, our motto is hope and opportunity. So Highland Street Foundation was created 25 years ago by David and Joanne McGrath and was really a way to just start making a difference in their community. And also we wanted the kids to start to think in terms of giving money and wanted to do it in a more formal way than to just put money in the basket at church. The family and those associated with the foundation go about the city asking how can we do good. Every kid deserves the same opportunities that the kid in the next town has from Red Sox games to cultural events to the Freedom Trail. Many of those kids have never seen the outside of Fenway Park. Free Fun Fridays, which was created years ago, was about opening the doors to cultural institutions for free so that everyone can have the same opportunity and it becomes a part of your life. Well, look at the lines down the street today at the Isabella Stewart Garden Museum of young people with their parents. That wouldn't be possible for many without the Highland Street Foundation. Every Thursday, Highland Street Foundation does this tadpole playground celebration. So we start with a burst of energy and read Boston. There's a really fun, interactive story. And then every week we have a different guest who sets up a really neat, hands-on learning experience. This week was the Museum of Science. And then they get almost 30 minutes of physical activity to make sure that our kids are getting a chance to move every day. Bellasini Academy um, would not exist without Highland Street Foundation support. Highland Street and the McGrath family have helped us pursue our goals through their support in several of our programs and services. Financially, they have been so generous, but it's also they instill values in our club members. One of the unique things about the Highland Street Foundation is their commitment to partnering, but also creating partnerships amongst the folks that are funded. Every time they help the Greater Boston Food Bank, they're also helping St. Francis House. We have made a difference, and the Highland Street Foundation's support is critical to our ability to do that. Thank you. Oh, I started in fifth grade and I graduated in 2006. I remember looking up at people who came to help out. So I want to be like that role model for these guys who are going through a tough time now. If every one of us helped just address one need in each community, then the community would be better. 
The world becomes better if people care. I am extremely excited about the future here. In a city like Boston, people do well, and they ask, how do I now do good? And there's so much people out there in Boston that's helping people. Boston is like a close-knit community, like closer than most, so we have to stick by each other no matter what. <laughs>